you guys there I'm not wearing like anything because I am um, making I'm making lunch okay stop um, we're gonna already get in a fight this morning I already know we are because there's something that I'm gonna be doing that I'm gonna have to defend myself about um, because of some fat fucks out there and I really didn't want to get started off on the wrong foot, to be honest. Like, I wasn't planning on it, but there's like anything I do, like, people start with me on. And, me, where are you? Are you sitting in the sun? I'll oh, be good, girl. You stay there. Be where I can see you. Okay. Um, so, okay, this is the thing. I, um,. Okay, um, did I, I didn't flash you right now. Okay, that's gross. Okay, um, sorry. Okay, so, um, I am fat. Okay, it's like, I am fat. So, I'm like not, okay, like, I'm not fat, like, I get it, for, like, normal. Like, I'm, like, I'm talking about my damn self. Like, I'm not the way I used to be, age eight, like, old. I think it's, like, five pounds, we know that. I've been better this week, obviously, so, I, like, I'm slimming down. Um, but I just have to keep going and I'm not ready to do a skinny video yet because I don't feel like the skinniest, even though I'm not fat, just like for me, whatever. Okay, so I um, love to do this. It's kind of like Shabu, I guess. And for the uncultured fat swine out there, try me. There's like this like person's like trying me. Um, she's not trying me, but she's like, she, I, I, I don't know, I saw something somewhere and like, I was like, wow. She's like fat, ugly. Big, fat, ugly, woke, white bitch. You know what I mean? Like, one of those. Like, it's, like, really, like, gross. Sorry. So, um, that's the thing. I, like, will do whatever I'd like to do in my life. Whenever I'd like to do it in my life, okay? And if it offends you, offends you, I'll, like, it actually, like, is actually embarrassing. Like, you didn't care what I do in my life. So, anyway. I love to do this shabu thing. And it's just something that I do. Um, all I do is... I fill up this little pot with water, just steaming, just water. And I boil. I love this. What is this? What is this? I don't know. I think it's like a squash. I put the thing here. It's a honey nut squash. And um, I really like it. And I do some jalapeno. Those take a while to like cook. But I like them like, um, this thing, I'm like trying to do my own thing right now. Um, you can like see better now okay um so i'm just gonna do that and then i have this is the key is like this tempura these tempura sauces like they actually are the best like i love these um i ponzu is not good with this it's like too i don't know um citrusy but this is my favorite one just like the generic the kikaman brand that everyone knows from all like whatever it's like the most generic one I don't remember if I like this one. Um, this is new, so let me try it. This one's more like authentic, like actually Japanese, I think. Okay, but um, so let me get my let me get my chopsticks out that you guys are, that the fat woke white bitches out there are going to like try and start shit with me for. And I'm gonna come for you right now, so don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna come for you. Don't worry. Don't worry, bitch. Cow. Okay, so um, this is just gonna sit here. And then I love broccoli. And I like broccoli like really not cooked a lot at all. So it just looks like this, it's nothing. Okay, it's just, it's just going to boil. Okay, um, and I hate carrots. And then some jalapeno, but the jalapenos kind of go quick too, they're not like, the pumpkin takes a while to cook. Okay, it's not even boiling yet. Okay, so I just wanted to have like an enjoy, I just wanted to have a peaceful lunch, but um, um, I already know that I have to defend myself. 
Yes, I'm brushing my hair in my kitchen because we've already gone over this. It's my fucking kitchen, okay? Don't even start with me. Like, I'm, I'm actually not trying to look ugly on camera right now. My hair is like shit. Okay, so here we go. Um, if I hear the word cult, cult, cultural appropriation come out of one of your fat asses mouth one more goddamn time in my presence, try it, try me bitch. Okay, anyway, there's like, some, it's always happened, always happens. It's always the fat, woke, like ugly white bitch, okay? With some like short man hairstyle, okay? And fat, all right? And ugly and like piercings, okay? Like gross. Um, you're ugly, okay? I told you, did I tell you? Don't have an opinion on my damn page, you're ugly. Anyway, so they're like, they're, so someone who was like, doesn't even know me, like doesn't even know like this channel. And um, like trying to talk shit, trying to talk shit on me for like being a be culturally appropriating we know, bitch, I will do whatever I want. This is the thing. I have like this thing about the cultural appropriation thing that actually makes my like blood boil. It makes me cringe. Um, this is like, I don't even know how to get into this because I get, it gets, I get so irritated about it. It's like people should, it's like a compliment, you idiots. If someone's enjoying your goddamn culture, it's a fucking compliment. For you, you fat fucking ass out there. Okay, so it's starting to boil um, and I'm put, leaving these broccoli in for way too long because um I, they're way too long so i like to do this and i just sit basically like over the stove and eat this mm. it's like my favorite thing to do i'll get a quick snack just throughout the day if i get hungry this is like what i do and it's really filling because it takes a while. You know what I mean? Like you're not just like shoveling food. Um, mm. So both good. Anyway, I'm gonna get into the cultural appropriate thing to like when I get, I'm gonna take you guys to my room. Um. But um, I wanted to like show you guys this because I know you're always looking for like skinny tips. And because I'm not ready to do a skinny video right now, I figured I could like show you guys like skinny tips. Um, you know what I mean? I also like to do this. Like you're supposed to take like a jalapeno and a broccoli and put, put it together. the pumpkin or the squash. I like to have it sit in here for a while. I'm gonna just pour these both together, honestly. It tastes a little bit different, but I'm sure they'll be good together. So here's the squash. Mm, it's so good. here just like I feel like kind of suck because they don't really understand what the fuck's going on like they don't get class you know what I mean and um they like ruin it for everyone so I feel like I have to like not redo lectures but like So good. So these are done. They could go a little bit more, but I kind of just like want to eat and get upstairs and like finish and film with you guys. So it's a really good snack. Basically zero calories, honestly. I mean, I don't count things that are like five calories. You know, I don't really count vegetables unless they're like like avocado or something like fattening vegetable. I don't eat that.
Boom. No longer they sit in here too. These are like the rinds, but no longer I sit in here. Like the more they soak up the sauce. So good. Okay, so that's my trick. I love that. You could also do like onion, like um, green onions really good in this. Um, what else is really good that I like? I mean, I just feel like my favorite vegetables that are like green vegetables, like cabbage is actually like, um, a bok choy, but like Korean cabbage is really good in this. Um, and it's just like good. I also do have like a little burner that I can put on my table and do it like for shabu or whatever, but this is just something quick. You know what I mean? It's just me and I'm just like, I don't have a lot. I'm already like burping. I'm already full. I think it's just like the, the movement, I don't know what it is. Like you don't need a lot and like you're already full. Better than like grabbing at chips and stuff, which I will show you anyway. Um, so this was like my normal part of the video. Now I'm gonna go upstairs and like, honestly, like I have a lot to speak to you guys about. I wanna show you guys some shit. Oh, let me show you guys this too, but I'm not gonna tell you where I got it. I'm gonna only wash it out though, because I used it this morning for my coffee. I got a new glass, two new glasses. Um, and I love them. They're really cool. Um, got two of these. I mean. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you that. But I'm gonna show you guys, I'm take you guys up to, upstairs and show you something else. I just feel like the whole time I looked really fat when like, I'm really not fat. I'm just, you know what I mean? Trying to like shed like pounds from the, what's it called? Like Christmas and holidays and stuff. And just being in a relationship, like five, whatever, five pounds kind of shit. Okay, so let's go upstairs. I'm gonna get some things to show you guys and I wanna talk to you about what the fuck's going on. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I actually really love this coloring right now on me. This is like good, okay, this is like good coloring. Um, like as class goes on, I feel like I'm gonna need it. Or else I'm not gonna like feel on. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get started into something. Um, first of all, my jewelry, I love this. This is like a design that I did last year. Um, it's my golden age and I just put it on today. I haven't worn it in a while. This is the, um, 13, this is the 13 inch, um, 13 inch neck option. So just let me like, whatever. It's like, um, basically almost 14 inches because of the length of 14 inch. Okay. Um, and I use like different chains. This is like the thicker one. There's two options. There's like a thinner for a small link option and a big link option. This one, I use the big links. Like all like I use two different kinds of links and they kind of like fade into each other. It's really cool. It goes all the way around. This one, um, I took off my. This is my super gleam. Like this is solid gold. You guys, if you noticed, I took it off since like December because I was like taking pictures of like other other jewelry and I didn't want. This is such like a showstopper. It kind of like takes over. You know what I mean? Um, so I had to put it back on. I love it. If you guys are like wanting something that like is an amazing forever piece. I've had this same one. You guys know, I think it's like four years now. Um, like this, this, this same exact one. This is a super gleam and my studio 54s are like the best ever. So if you're looking for like a real gold piece, this is like my absolute favorite. I also have them in the a more affordable version, which is, um, 18 K over sterling silver. They're all handmade in Italy for my line exclusively. And, um, I have like the super gleam, Sorry, I have the um, the flash, which is like the Studio 54, and the double flash, which is like this. Um, and then this is my Madonna bar cross. 
This is from the stocking stuffers. So all my stocking stuffers are still on stocking stuffer price. You guys know that. Um, but at the end of the month, they're going to either jump to like normal selling price so that the slash price will not be available anymore, or they're going to be removed from my line forever. So don't miss out on the stocking stuffers, the bougie stocking stuffers. I love them. This is so pretty. This is 14K gold filled chain. It's really, really, really neat, um, like bar link chain. And I also sell it on its own um, as like a necklace because I really like this chain. You can find it under like the layering, 14K, 14 gold filled like everyday layering chains. It comes in bracelet and necklace option. I really love this chain. It's really cool. I want to do other things with it because I just really like it. Um, it's really sparkly and just cool. But you can see there. It's really neat. That. Then I'm wearing um, my... Um, this is from my Ro Everyday Rome, 90s Rome, I think, 90s Rome collection. I love it. It's a really solid, chunky. Um, this is stainless steel plated, 18K gold plated over stainless steel. So it's really good. It, it takes a very, very, very long time to start fading, like a really long time. It's really shiny, really, really good quality pieces. And this is the Bold Miami. So I love these. Look, how, look at that stack. Look at that. It's like fucking perfect. And then my I Heart Me ring, this is 14K with my initial on it. And then this is vintage and this is a gift, okay. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start off um, with, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm, I really love this stack. I, it takes me like, like remember last week, stack two, the one where I was in like my Fiorushi shirt, like how it was perfect. My bankroll necklace with the Miami, that with the bold Miami just looked fucking sick. Like I just love things that look really, really good and are comfortable because I don't like complicated shit. Like this, I, it's so comfortable. I can wear it all day long and be able to feel it. Sorry, you guys, I'm gonna fucking rip the fuck out of my line. I love it. Okay, um, and I would never lie, you know what I mean? Like I would never wear something that I didn't love. So if I love it, I'm gonna like, you know how I am, how I, am. I can't stop talking about it. Okay, let me get my glass too. I'm bringing, drinking my coffee out of my glass. You can see, isn't it pretty? I really like it. It's like, kind of like matches my outfit. Oh my God, okay. I'm getting my nails done tonight too. Um, I think I'm gonna go back to like, I think I'm gonna do the French this time. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do regular French or if I'm gonna do like pink tip French again. I really like that pink tip French. It just didn't last because I was, I, I had gotten it during the time of like Christmas orders and my nails were just so fucked from making jewelry. Um, anyway, so I think I'm gonna try it again. Okay, shut up. So um, anyway, before I was really interrupted by my own thoughts, I have some things to like talk to you guys about. I want to show you some shit I got. Um, it's like kind of vibe shit that like I kind of need to like, I need to like talk to you guys about because you just don't get it. And um, then I want to show you guys this. Okay, it's really, I'm really pissed. So every year for, um, <laughs> this is like infuriating. It's eye-opening, bitch. Okay, so every year for um, Valentine's Day and for Halloween, these companies, they put out like, like Cheez-Its, for example, we will put out like snacks so that you can like, the kids can pass them out at their class, right? For like, you know, Valentine's, remember? Okay. Or like, like whatever. So they do like mini packs, right? And I love them. I love the mini packs because they're not 100, 100 calorie packs are bullshit. Like I hate the 100 calorie packs because it's, it's too much actually. Like 100 calories, I feel like for a snack that does not like fill you up, is a lot like you, 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 it's like, it's not worth it sometimes. I mean, sometimes it is, but it, it's like, you have to be able to control yourself at once at one pack. You know what I mean? That's the problem. So that's why I love these like, um, seasonal. I love seasonal, um, uh, these seasonal little like gift snacks. Okay. Because they're never a hundred. They're always like, that's not true. There are some of them are, you can find ones that are like 50. Some of them are like 40, like the, I think, okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I love that. You guys know that. Anyway, I saw the Cheez-Its and I was like, ooh, 50 calories. And I was like, I'm gonna get that. I was at Target. So um, I got in the car because I was like hungry and I opened one up and I wanna show you guys how many Cheez-Its are in this bag, okay? Because this is actually disgusting how fattening shit is, okay? I can eat half a box of Cheez-Its like and in a blink of a damn eye and like I wouldn't even notice, right? Like. I, I could probably, for fuck's sake, eat the entire bat box. Honestly, like, if you're sitting down watching TV, whatever, not thinking, easy, okay? Let me show you what 50 calories is. I was mortified, okay? I was fucking mortified. I'm so pissed. So I have these snacks in my car. Like, I have these kind of snacks. Like, I have, I have like, big chip snacks in my car. And I have, like, like those lifesavers and stuff because they're, like, low-cal options for, like, if I have, like, a long commute then I can like eat that on the way home rather than like stopping at McDonald's for like a small fry, you know what I mean? Cause like, 
I do that. I was doing that and it's just like not the best, right? Um, okay, so let me, let's count together how many. This is what you get for 50 calories. That's it, okay? I'm not even joking you. This is all you get. Let's count. One, one, two. I'm gonna count the big ones first. Three, four. Oh, that's not, okay. That's half, no, I'll count the big ones first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's these broken parts here. So like eight, nine. I think it's probably 10. They probably like fucked me out of one, but I think it's might be 10 cal 10. I don't want to eat it. Like it makes me, I'm throwing it away. Like, honestly, it makes me so mad that like, that's actually how fatting this shit is. Like, I'm not saying that it's like anyone screwing anyone over or anything, or it's like a mystery. It is what it is. Like that is 50 calories. Ten, so it's 10 calories, of, I think 10, five, five calories in one cheese it. Right? Yeah. Five calories in cheese, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're sitting there doing five, 10, 15, 20, 20 by 30, 30 by 40, 40, 50, 50, like it, it really adds up. You know what I mean? Did I get it right the first time? I don't remember. I'm so stupid. Okay. So anyway, I just wanted to bring that up because I was actually like, oh my God, I, was, I thought it was going to be like this size. You know what I mean? Like a, like a snack pack. I just, I'm like, oh my God, like I just can't believe how fattening everything is. So beware. I think it's a good idea to get those like Valentine's Day little like lunch snack things because it's like if you can control yourself at one then it's fine but that's it don't get the don't get the cheese at ones literally this is shocking it's shocking don't even buy this just shows you don't buy cheese it's anymore like i already know cheese it's were bad i never buy them but that's how bad they are they're that bad okay not worth it actually like the baked cheetos i feel like are better because i think like 130 calories in the baked cheeto puffs you can have like 36 cheetos there's a lot better options. These are like really like crazy fattening. Okay. So then I'm going to talk about, there's something I'd like want to broach with you guys. And it's about the cultural appropriation thing. I'm just like, I'm going to like, actually like, I'm going to lose it. You know what I mean? I'm going to fucking lose it because I just cannot stand these like ugly, fat, woke white girls. Like I can't stand them. They are with like the butch haircuts and like the piercings everywhere. I'm not sure. I, 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 I went on a tangent downstairs, but then like, I was like getting out of control. So I had to stop it to be honest, not, not out of control, but like it like wasn't fit. I was like too comp too, uh, too trying to eat, you know, I was trying to like worry about my food. Um, so I kind of got like distracted, but that's the truth. It's like these, 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 like these ugliest, like scariest looking, like they're like women are like, they're so aggressive and they come for people who they don't even know because they're jealous. Like you're actually jealous. Like, whoa, is that like a, my muscle was moving or something? Do you see that? It looks so strong. Okay. Um, so like, they're like so ugly and hideous and like, they're such losers. Like they're actually losers and they're ugly. It's like so unfortunate that they have to come for people who like, uh, to be honest, like I'm not blind. I'm not, you know what I mean? Like I'm pretty and I'm successful. Like you are like actually jealous. Like Life's not fair. Okay, let me give you one tip, you ugly fucking cow. You sow. Um, if you didn't look like that, if you didn't, you deliberately make yourself look like that because you're, you're all ugly naturally, but you don't have to be that ugly. Like you don't have to be scary with like piercings and like orange hair and like uh, fat as fuck. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to, you can have a little self-control and you can like try to be in society. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to be that egregious. Okay. So anyway, I'm not talking about, actually, I am talking about someone specifically kind of like came from me. I didn't, they didn't come from me, but like people love to like talk shit online and like they are so clueless about, they don't, like they're so clueless about how actually ugly they are. Um, cause they're very, like they have no self-awareness. We know this, like people don't have any self-awareness because they, like I told you as a child, they weren't put in their damn place. You know what I mean? They were not, they were not told as a child, like what in the mother fuck are you doing? Like there was no structure. Something was wrong where like they have, they're like, total like adult losers now. So I'm going to get into that later. Cause like, I just don't know how to like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to structure anything. Speaking of structure like this, I just kind of blab. but, um, I bought some stuff yesterday that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I went to, um, I went and bought another pair of Dickies and I'm really into the, here, I bought these. So I'm really into the Dickies thing right now. The only thing is there's no, there's only two Dickie, Dickie colors from what I see now. And it's only, this is the thing. I'm telling you guys right now, don't get any weird Dickies shit, okay? Don't. Don't go and get, like, the girls, the new girls version of Dickies that, like, Urban put out, for example. Or don't go get, like, the, like, the, you know what I mean? Like, the jeans, like, the, it's like the Dickies are making cool things now, or, like, like, new things. Don't. 
The only cool thing is the original Dickies, okay? That's the only thing that's actually cool. If you can like style it, like a pair of actual Dickies, that's cool, okay? Don't go get like that weird, they have like a wash, like a jean of a wash jean that has a cargo pant, like cargo sides on it. And it's like made just for girls. Like, no, these are like the unisex Dickies, okay? They're really, see, there's no like weird pockets. They're just straight. They're not cropped or anything. The ends are just like, just, they're like the skater boy ones. The ones that people wore, that the ones that, the only ones that Dickie like actually makes until now they're trying to like, you know, like sell to another market. So anyway, I got this color and I'm gonna, it's called Dickie's Flex, I guess. They're like light and strong it's called. And it's weird because like they run really weird. Like I know for fuck, I'm not a size 30. Like I know I'm not a 30 and these are a 30. Like I, I don't know what it is. I think maybe because they're men's or something. I don't know. Like my jeans are like 27, 28. Like that's what I wear. So I don't know why these are a 30. Like anyway, so um, I got these again and I really like them. And then I got that that top that I showed you guys downstairs. Um, and then I then like in the sale section, they had like an extra 30% off all the sale. And by the way, the girl at the fucking cash register was a bitch. Okay, so I like fucking caught her in her own act. And I was like, now we can do that in like two separate transactions. Okay, you don't have to fucking, yes, yes, I will take my $5 coupon. Yes, I will. Okay. Um, it's like, people are annoying. Like, why do you have to like try to play me like that? Like, you think I'm not gonna like, like now, you know? Okay, so um, this is an extra, a double XL and it was $20, $30 and extra 30% off. It's huge. And I just like it. It's just, it's one of those things where it's, it's really, it's cool because it's so big that it just looks like something, okay? And if you don't get it, you don't get it. Um, so yeah, the Dickies are really cool. I really like them. So the only two colors that are good is this one. Like the, and the black, I have to get these, I have to take this, all this shit off. Um, the black are a little harsh, it almost looks like work pants. Like you work at like, you're like a waitress or a waiter. I feel like you would wear like black dickies. That's, you know what I mean? I don't know. Um, and then the, the, the army ones that I got are really cool with the camo. And then this, I like this color. The teal ones are lame. I don't know, there's like a pair of teal. I hate that color. And then there's like a, like a khaki and like a brown, like no. I don't do khakis and browns. I love my fucking wrists. Okay. Um, and I just love it. So I don't know if I'm going to style them yet, but I'm going to, you just like basically throw them on. Like that's what's cool. Like throw them the fuck on with like a, literally a sweatshirt and like cool and like shoes and a cool bag. You know what I mean? It just looks cool. Okay. And I really like them. So this is like my new thing is Dickies. Um, they just, they're just kind of fl not flattering. They're not flattering. They're just like, they're not unflattering. Um, I like them. Okay. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, I know you guys are like really like a lot of the new, new, um, what's it called here? Students are, um, asking about my, my eyeliner because they missed class. So I'm not going to like do eyeliner tutorial for you. First of all, like you don't get it because I see people like on like TikTok trying to do my eyeliner and it just looks so bad. Like to be honest, like you don't get it. You're not doing it right. Like, when people try and like do something and it's wrong, it really pisses me off because it like dilutes it. You know what I mean? Either do it right and do it how I do it or don't, don't fuck it up. Okay. It's just like when someone takes what I say and like they, they don't understand the context and they fuck it up. Like you miss class. You don't get it. It's like those, the beta males on TikTok who thought I said like, show me your tax returns, your bank statements, do a three, show me your side profile and do a 360. And they thought I was talking about like men, like dating men, like when they didn't come to class and people thought that this is the same thing. It's like, you guys didn't come to class. Like, no. Okay. Like you're actually putting eyeshadow on and stuff. Like you're not doing it like droopy enough. You're kind of like going up with it. You're doing other things. Like why do you just fuck it up? If it's not broken, don't fix it. Don't fucking take my shit and ruin it. Okay. It's just like, you you actually have annoyed me at this point. And like, I'm starting to get, you know, this is like another reason why I gatekeep because it's like you are ruining the vibe. Like, no, you don't get to know things if you ruin the vibe. You, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you do. Okay. So I just want to get into another thing, and that is the cultural appropriation. Um, and it's just something that, like, it actually irks me. Like, it, it actually, like, it's so fucking cringy to me that it makes me want to, like, whatever it is that you're saying that I'm doing that you don't like, like I'm going to do it now so much more. You have no idea. Like that's what you do. You, your idiocy makes me want to actually sh keep doing because I know I'm not wrong in doing anything. 
Um, okay. So since the beginning of time with this, with the internet, people love to, um, like what's the word not critique but like like yeah basically critique everything that everyone does including me like anything i do is like look is critiquable when the, i've told you a million times do not come on my channel and tell me and tell me what's what just don't because i won't listen to you um and i honestly strongly know and feel that like celebrating i love culture i love different cultures i love languages i love different cultures i love like weird shit you know what i mean like not american stuff like i love american stuff too but like i i live for that you guys know that and to me it's just a part of life it's so cool that the world is so different and people are so different all over the world and the more i can like experience that and like appreciate it and love it and like want like i love it i love it. i live for it i live for different shit and a fat ass cow sow loser okay sitting in a fucking shit ass apartment in the middle of fucking america god knows fucking where it's gonna tell me how it is you will never you're a loser get the fuck off of my goddamn channel you fat pig okay um i'm just getting really infuriated thinking about it if listen bitch if i want to have uh have wear cornrows and box braids i will fucking do it i will do it actually i've done braids in the past black style girl braids because I like it and because they're pretty and it's cool for summer. So I do it and I will do it again. Absolutely. Try to come for me, bitch. I'll do whatever the fuck I want to. Um, I will absolutely enjoy, um, Chinese culture. I lived there for two years. I had a really, you guys know I had my tag, <laughs> tag salon here. <laughs> um, so I just, I just got it yesterday in the mail. So I will like absolutely enjoy Chinese culture to the nth degree, whether it's through people, through like through its people, through the, through the language, through the, um, through its food, their food, through anything. Like I will enjoy it to the fullest. I use chopsticks when I want to, because I like to, because it reminds me of my time in China. I had the best time there. Like my experience there and like the growth that I had there, like I immersed so much there. I like, I really grew there. I love it. Okay. I loved it. I like, I, it's not the same now. I don't think I would go back when I went back to visit. It wasn't the same as like my time there, like meant a lot to me there. Okay. Um, you wouldn't know because you're a loser, probably haven't even left the States. Okay. You're disgusting. And you're going to tell me what to do and what not to do. You will never, I think it's, a, an, a, it's, I think it's a great thing. If people, if people celebrate culture by appreciating it. I don't think it's cultural appropriation. I think it's cultural, cultural and tacky appreciation. Like it's sick. Okay. So what should I say? Should I say to like, what's white? Like I've done this in the past, but like what's white is like Chili's white is like Applebee's white is like going to the mall. White is like going to Walmart white. Like what's white. So listen to me. Okay. If we're not allowed to, um, eat Mexican food, or if I can't like wear Chola liner, like I like to, yes, I will say that damn word. I say the fuck I want. Okay. Um, if I'm not allowed to, because I like the way it looks genu genuinely, and I'm not like putting Chola liner on to make fun of someone, like it's pretty. Okay. Like I like the way that looked in the nineties. Um, then why the fuck are you, um, enjoying white things? Okay, no, that's not the way it is. This is America. This is a world of like different people everywhere. People should be enjoying. No one's like, no one's like, you know what I mean? It's like people should be enjoying it and learning and experiencing culture. Like that's what it's about. It's all it's like life, you fucking moron. Like actually, to be honest, here is my like, actually like, here's my, my end statement on it, but it's not. I will keep going. Um, is that you're the, you are a, like an ethnocentric little fucking cunt because all you think, all you think is good enough to live by is like white culture. Is that all you're okay to live by? So you are not going to like appreciate and celebrate any culture other than being white. Is that what you're saying? So you're too good for it because you're so ethnocentric and dumb because you haven't fucking left the United States to like think, oh my God, like we like, I look at, like, look at all these beautiful parts of other culture. Like why can I want to like experience them too? Like that is appreciating culture. You fucking fucked hard fuck. Okay. Um, by the way, you fat ass bitch. Okay. If I ever see your fat ass eating fucking Mexican food or Chinese food, cause I know you do. You go to Panda Express every day. You have fat fucking white ass wide load. Yes. Your white ass load. You go to Panda Express every day with a fucking fat ass like that. Um, and yeah, it's like, 
the fucking the thing where people get offended like to be honest like i cannot fucking like I, you guys are gonna like make like it's not i will never do anything just to like do something like i will do something because i want to do something and um if you guys want to get me you can go back to like when i know you love to like trap me but i'll still give you a trap right now like please spread it please okay um so there was like i think it was like five years ago i was fat it was like during fat alex time i got like braids in my hair and they're like, I guess considered like black style braids or whatever, stupid. Like now, now, now blacks only can wear braids. Did you know that? Like stupid. Okay, yeah. Now only black people can wear braids. Dumb. Okay, I'm just sick of people. Um, like I did like those braids like five years ago. And like the ones that like last for like a week or whatever. And someone like wrote on my page. So like at that point, like, oh my God, like, like this is like, cultural I can't even say because it it's so stupid but people always get me for cultural appropriation because of like I name my my, do my dog's name is, name is Ming like you guys know I named Ming, Ming after Ming Shi which is the Chinese supermodel I think she's fucking gorgeous like that's a bad thing to do is to name something that you love after a, something that's beautiful like actually you're racist because you obviously don't think that she's like that beautiful because if she thought she was so beautiful you would fucking love her name too and love her and like name something after her too just like a bow and shao those are fucking Ch chinese names too you fucking cunt okay just like my hamsters was it shash shash uh, shashway means snow the other ones okay i've always like that's i love chinese names i love the way they sound like i live in like it's 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 not what are you, you are so disgusting fucking molly molly smith okay in wyoming probably you know what i mean like this is just it's so irritating like you irritate the fuck out of me you're disgusting like you make me sick this is the problem with america is that we have no problems here like we basically well, now we do but like we're so like what's the word spoiled and we are so we have so much like free time and the ability to like we're so blessed to be able to make up these fake problems because we're not starving in a third world country where we're like scraping to like get by every day and live and to like su support our families you know what i mean like it's not like a fucking day-to-day -to -day, like grind or you're gonna die you know what i mean we have it so good here that people make up fake problems like this it's fucking ridiculous I mean, I honestly, it makes me so mad. Like I, I just, I hate it. Like I have nothing in common with anyone. Like I don't, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't like anything. Like people piss me off, like this kind of shit. Like just the way you look, like makes me mad. You know what I mean? Um, you're so, it, it's so fucking obnoxious. Anyway, so I could go on and on about the cultural appropriation thing and these fucking fat fucking woke idiots like trying to come for me, like trying to like even have one word to say about anything. You're just so ugly. It's what's based on. It's like, you're so ugly. That's, it's always based on that. You're so ugly. Like you're just ugly, fat. You're a loser. Okay. You're in debt up to your fucking ears because you fucking went to some retarded college and got a stupid degree. And now you're in fucking debt because you chose the wrong fucking fucking degree. Because you, you're so dumb. Like, you think, you think going to college, you idiots, you think actually going to college is going to do anything? No one gives a fuck about your damn degree, you idiots. Like, no one cares. To be honest, this is my opinion on it. I really have this, like, this new, like, opinion about college. Because I did go to college, but it was a different time, like, 15 years ago, right? I feel like maybe 13 years ago. I don't know. Like, back then, like, go ahead, you had to have, like, a degree, I feel like. But now, it's like you don't. Like, it's so stupid. Like... It's so stupid. Everyone and their mom has a degree now. It is pointless, okay? You only need people that need degrees if you're going to be like a lawyer, a doctor, like something that you need a degree for, a scientist, like something like that. If you're just going to be a regular fucking person, if you don't have a, a, a degree that's specific to something, then it's pointless. You're actually wasting your money. You're throwing it down the fucking toilet. I have like a poli-sci undergrad degree. And then I have, um, what do I have in my master's is what? International business. Like, I don't remember because it's that useless. Like, the only thing, I, everything was pointless. If I, like, that obviously didn't use any of my degrees. Even for my first jobs before I started, before, well, I didn't start YouTube. You guys know my story, whatever. But, like, nothing, I know whatever was like, oh, we you going to do poli sci degree? Like, so stupid. What do you do with a poli sci degree with nothing? Dumb. Okay, another dumb thing. I mean, I don't even know, but that was like back then, you know, I mean, this is now like to do, to be honest, if I had a child right now, I don't, I don't even know if I would, I wouldn't like, I would never send to college. College is disgusting because people like that are describing fat cows. Okay. Woke ass cows. 
racist, rote, woke cows who don't let you appreciate culture. Okay, are you fucking out of your damn mind? Now, I'd be like, I don't know, take out a loan. Instead of taking out a loan to like give it to a college, you have a worthless piece of paper that someone's gonna wipe their fucking ass with and throw it down the toilet. When they see how, when you go into a job interview and they see how you look with that fucking attitude and that face, they're not gonna hire you. Actually, what companies probably will. I would never. I'd be like, oh wait, you're, uh, you're fucking ugly. You're ugly, you're, no, you are, you're a troublemaker. You're a troublemaker is what it is. I don't want a troublemaker in my fucking, in my office. Get the fuck out of here, bitch, you're fired. Um, so yeah, I would be like son, daughter, whatever, child. Um, no, take out a loan and like literally like start, a, start like some kind of like whatever, whatever, you some talent. I don't even know. Like even like, like something like plumbing, like a nail shop, like something like that. Like I, I ought to be honest, like I'm all about like that. I, what is the point? Unless, unless, you know what I mean? Unless my like son or daughter was like very, what's the word? Bright and like you know, wanted to be like a doctor or something like that. Like then there's actually no point to getting a degree anymore. It's a waste of time, huge waste of money. It's literally, you're getting like, a, what are you gonna do, a piece of paper? You're gonna literally wipe your ass with, like it's pointless. That's my opinion, but there's the kind of people out there that just, she's miserable because that's the thing. It's like you literally wasted all that money going to a, a, going to a college and you end up with a stupid degree. You're pissed as fuck. You're ugly as fuck. You're fat as fuck. You're useless as fuck. And you're dumb as fuck. And now you're on here because you are coming for me. Why are you on my channel? You don't belong here, you're too ugly. Like ugly students is a thing. Um, no, if you're ugly, you're not in the class anymore. You're actually not even in the back of the class, you're expelled. The door is locked if you're ugly. Get the fuck out of my class. I'm not kidding, like, that's the thing. If you're trying to not be ugly, fine. Like you can be in the, in the class, but you're not trying to not be ugly. You are an ugly troublemaker. I hate those troublemaker kind of people. The people that like, it's like the antag was it a, like a little antagonizer. That's what you are. You like to start trouble and start shit. Get the fuck out of my class. Um. Anyway, so tonight I'm going to like literally have Mexican food. I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear chola lipstick tonight. Yes, I damn am. I'm going to wear lipstick like a chola tonight because I like it, bitch. Yes, I do. I love it. I love Mexican food. Um, and I love to wear chola lipstick. Yes, I do. I'm going to wear it tonight. Um, and then, bitch, I'm going to go to a really traditional Chinese-like restaurant, which I really love, and I'm going to bring Ming, okay? Yeah, I'm going to bring Ming, and I'm going to, like, like, I'm not going to, I don't like that. I'm not, like, that lame. Like, you know what I hate? I hate when, like, white people go into, like, this is, like, dumb. I just think it's cringy. It's, like, whatever. It's not, like, it's not bad. I just think it's cringy as fuck. And like white people like speak Spanish in like Mexican restaurants to like the waiters, like something like my dad would do, you know what I mean? So like an old white man thing, <laughs> it's so dumb, so embarrassing, but like it is what it is. Like it is what it is, okay? So no, like I don't like speak Chinese when I go into like a Chinese restaurant because it's like so cringy, but like I wish I would, I wish like people would only speak to me in Chinese when I go to like to places, like if I go to like a Chinese supermarket or like Chinese restaurant, I feel like I wish they would only speak Chinese so I could like try and pick that up again because I've lost so much of my ability to speak Mandarin. But okay, anyway, bitch, I love you guys. And um, I hope my skinny tip helped you. Um, and I'm glad that we also, I'm really glad that we cleared the air about the ugliness, like about how, like I, I really have made, I've like, I've made a new rule and like, I really appreciate you guys out there like helping me enforce it because I know you guys are out there like on the, in the trenches with me. Like I can see you and you like stick up for like the class and you stick up for me and you're like, you're totally ugly ugly fat losers to like get out and like you should because they don't belong here and like the thing is they're like little like rats because they want to be in the class so bad but they just like you know what I mean it's like they're such haters that they will never be able to like get there because like life isn't fair that's a truth you know what I mean okay guys but I love you so much I love all the students so much you guys are amazing um and don't forget to subscribe to my patreon you guys know that I try to be active on there so you don't want to like miss out and um, it's like also a way so I can like kind of have like a private club. Like last night I filmed um, like a special video and I always put up like extra photos and um, like when I have free time, I'm more active on it. But um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, okay, love you guys, bye.